Alright, what's going on? How's it going guys? How's it going? Well, here we are with another abandoned video right here behind me. As you guys can see, this is where I'm at. This is a first for me. We're doing an abandoned Goodyear. That's right, we're doing an abandoned Goodyear Auto Service Center. This was located on 1527 Middle Country Road, Center Reach, New York, 11720. Now, last weekend, I was doing a job with my brother, because as you guys know, me and him have a side business of junk removal and, uh, you know, a family business going on on the side there. And um, a few days ago, we were doing a job in the area last Saturday, as a matter of fact. And uh, we came, you know, next door to this Goodyear, there's a Valero gas station. And while we were putting gas on our vehicles, um, as we were putting gas on our respective vehicles, right here behind me, next door, while we were at Valero, I noticed that there was an abandoned Goodyear. And as soon as I saw that, I said, bam, right there, that's going to be on my next video. Let's do this. So this is going to be pretty cool to do, man. This is the first time, uh, this is my first time doing an abandoned Goodyear. You know, there's a few good years out here on Long Island, but I've never done an abandoned good year. I know Wadley Benowski has done a couple of good year auto service centers on his channel. So it's pretty cool, you know, and lately, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but lately there's been a lot of places out here on Long Island that Wally has done in his videos that now I'm doing in my videos. It's pretty cool how a lot of places that he explores are now randomly starting to pop up out here on Long Island as abandoned places. So that's pretty cool, man. So, you know, and like I said, you know, um, I've seen Wally's uh, Goodyear videos, and it's pretty cool. So, you know, if you haven't checked them out, I suggest you do so, man. Wally Banowski checking out Goodyear's is pretty cool content. So, good for him. So, I'm going to try to be quick because, um, you know, obviously it's just before 7.30, and the sun is almost going to start setting soon. And uh, there's two places that I want to go to today. The first one that I'm doing right now, which is right here behind me, is the abandoned Goodyear. And then somewhere here on Middle Country Road, I'll put on the GPS when I leave. It's either I got to go right or I got to go left. But there's an abandoned TD Bank. And I would assume it's TD. Because obviously, yeah, it's a brick building like any normal bank would be. But it's green. I see green posters on the door. And the street sign looked like it was a square. And it looked like it had a green outline. So based on that, it could have been a TD Bank. I won't know until I get there. But the quicker I do this, the more sunlight we have. The more time we'll have to go over there and do two videos and kill two birds with one stone. Hell yeah. What's going on? Yep. You guys ready? All right. Now, I'm not exactly sure when it closed. So, you know, I guess after I'm done doing this video real quick, I'll check and see when it closed. You know, and if I can't find out when, it's no big deal. But it's still going to make for an epic video. So... Let me start talking, enough with the yapping, and let's get out of the car, and let's go check out this abandoned Goodyear Auto Service Center here in Center Ridge. I'm going to get out of the car, take some pictures, walk around, check it out, and then I'm going to give you guys the inside scoop of this place, and then we'll start the video. All right? Cool. The abandoned Goodyear here in Center Ridge. Let's do this. All right, what's going on? Yo. Welcome to the abandoned Goodyear. There it is, right there behind me. And there goes the epic labels car. Check that out, that's pretty cool, ain't it? And then right here behind me on the other side, right there is where they have the street sign. Pretty cool. There's a fire panel alarm going off up in there. As soon as I started taking pictures of all the garage doors, I heard the beeping and the closer I got, the louder it got. And right there, when I got to the entrance of the garage, right over here, that's where it was loud, and I actually saw the fire panel blinking, and I hear it beeping. You guys were here, we get over there. So, I try to look up when this place closed. Now, it's not actually... Okay. Now, it's not actually closed. They closed up shop over here, and they moved literally up the road to Corum. They're out over there on Middle Country Road, but in Corum. So, they're a little up the road, a little a few miles up. I just saw the sign on the door. And based on, you know, I don't know exactly when they closed, but then I saw the last Google review and the last review was posted on February 20th. And then, you know, that same day, somebody posted saying that I was just here this morning and now this afternoon they closed. So they closed down this year on February 20th and they moved up the road over to Corum. So, yeah. So, all right, well, I'm going to stop talking. Enough with the yapping and I'm going to get recording because I want to go to that abandoned bank. 
So as you guys can tell, the sun right behind me is going down. So we still have time. So, you know, I'm not gonna rush, but we're gonna enjoy this. All right? All right, cool. Here we go. The abandoned Goodyear in Center Ridge. First time doing a Goodyear. Let's do this. All righty. And there goes your abandoned Goodyear. Check out that epic labels car. So, before I show you guys the garage area where they did the repairs for every vehicle, this is a pretty big location, man. It's a pretty big building over here. Before I show you guys that, let me go over here to the back. Oh, there goes Shadow. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be inconspicuous because I thought that there was a house here. It looks like it is, but it's actually a business because you can see the parking lot lines. So, it's actually a business of some sorts. So... But still, I'm going to try to be inconspicuous. So, all right, check this out. This is the back of the joint. Like Wally always says in his videos, here's the back of the joint. Oh, let's see if that door is open. Is it? Nope. It doesn't even jive. What's this? What the, what the hell? I go back to the caves, wipes. Messed up. That's really messed up, man. What's this? Scrap tire storage area. Area maybe under surveillance. These tires are the property of the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company and must be removed by authorized personnel only. Violators will be persecuted to the fullest extent of the law. These tires have been deliberately destroyed and can no longer be repaired. Do not take tires and do not drop off tires. So they had a scrappage area over here for used tires that they would destroy and damage if they weren't usable or repairable anymore. What the heck? Hang on. There we go. You guys can see a little better in there now. Doesn't look like they have any tires in here, just a bunch of barrels and a garbage can. Hmm. Okay. Whoops, sorry. Okay, let's go. Moving on. <clears throat> so like I said before in the beginning of the video, you see that Valero gas station right there? So last Saturday, while me and my brother were doing a job over here with our side business, our family business, we were filling up gas over here at this Valero gas station. And as soon as we pulled into the Valero gas station and I saw this abandoned Goodyear, right then and there, I knew immediately that this was going to be my next video. And I'm here to document this place for you guys. So here's the street sign, right over here. There's no logo in it or anything. Looks like they covered it pretty good. This is where the street sign would have been to say Goodyear. Pretty cool. Let's check the other side. Can you see anything? Nope. Completely covered. Nice. All right, here we go. One more time. Look at that epic labels car. Let me zoom that in for you guys. Check that out. Wow. That's amazing, man. It's cool how you could see how it still spells out Goodyear. And you could see the labels car in the middle where they had the shoe with the angel wings on it. That's pretty cool, man. It's either a shoe or a boot. Whatever it is, it's some kind of a sneaker. Some kind of type of footwear that has a pair of angel wings on it. In the middle, that divides the words good and year. Here's a garage area. Wow. Pretty cool how they still have this giant machine over here to lift the cars. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... The beeping that you're hearing, that's the fire panel. It's all the way over there. I'll show you guys in a minute. Wow. Crazy, man. First time I'm doing an abandoned auto shop. Really cool. Wow. They really swept out everything in here except a couple of jacks 
and that giant big rig machine over there that lifts the cars. But over there on the other side, when I show you guys, they still have a couple of office supplies over there and everything in the vending machine. But this area over here, the garage area, where they did repairs, completely empty. Looks like they got a couple of toolboxes over there, a couple of uh, oil barrels. Yeah, a couple of toolboxes and a couple of oil barrels over there. And over here in the middle, right there, they have an office chair. Two of them. One's in good shape, the other one is beat up. Wow. Let's keep going. There we go. There's a couple of toolboxes and oil barrels over there. I think those are toolboxes. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, so I would have no idea what the hell these are. What does that say? Ride management system. Okay, I see. So maybe that's where they would do your wheel alignment, if I had to guess. But if you guys, if one of you is a mechanic, let me know what that is. My brother George, he's a master mechanic. He worked for Lamborghini over there in uh, Jericho, out in Nassau County. He used to work at Ferrari, now he works at a higher end car dealer uh, at Lamborghini over there in Jericho. So he would know better than I would know. Let's see what this is in here. Trash can, traffic cones, fire extinguisher. Looks like an air gun. Couple of keys. I think those are keys. I don't know. Looks like an air compressor gun. <laughs> I love that noise. Every time I go to an auto mechanic shop, I love hearing that noise. I love it. Do you hear the screws come off or the nuts and bolts come off or the freaking hubcap? Really cool stuff, man. Nice. What was that over there? Storage. Oh no, that's a bathroom. Yeah, that's a bathroom. I, I can see it from. I can see the toilet from the bottom. Yeah, that's a bathroom. You can see the toilet paper on. Uh, you can see the toilet paper dispenser too on the right. Not the bathroom. Okay. And you can see where they had the break room. You can see a microwave up in there. Nice man. That's cool. All right, last door of the garage. There we go. Wow. You guys hear the fire panel? Yep. Emergency eye wash. Oh, so that's if you got chemicals in your eyes. They had an eye washer for you to water your eyes out. Hmm. That's cool. There goes a the fire panel right there. Right there. It says trouble. So that means most likely that it's uh, malfunctioning. For all you alarm tech enthusiasts, let me know what's going on here. Pretty sure it needs to be reset. That here's the inside. A nice chair here. And I guess this is where you'd make your appointments or where you would check out. Nice. See, right here, look, check this out. We've moved. Come see us at our quorum store. 295 Middle Country Road, 631-698-8100. Combined facilities and expanded services. And this was the key box. This is where you would drop your keys off when you had to drop your car off for services. See, when you drop your car off for service, you'd pull this open, and then right here is where you drop your keys. Right there is where you would drop your keys when your car needed to be serviced. So when you would take your car in for service, Pull this open, drop your keys over here, close it, and then go inside, pay, tell the guy you dropped off the key, tell them the model, year, make, whatever, and then boom, you're done. There we go. I guess this was the waiting room area.
Nope. Street card. We accept the Goodyear credit card. Goodyear. I love the logo, man. How it's a boot or some kind of a sneaker. Some kind of type of footwear that has an angel wing on it. ASML leasing. Shop without credit. Text to 22462 to apply now. ASML offers lease to town transactions. This is not an offer to loan, credit, or financing. One time messaging program. Message and data rates may apply. Text help to 22462 for more information or call ASMA at 801-297-1982. Text top. Text top. Text top. She's really top. Text stop to 22462 to be removed from receiving messages from ASMA. ASMA.com slash prophecy dash policy. ASMA.com slash terms dash of dash service. Text top. <laughs> top. What am I gonna text on top of? <laughs> All right. What the hell? There appears to be some kind of a Walmart shopping cart up in here, and that's Walmart. You can never, you can never mistake the blue and the uh, the blue and the gray. Clearly, that's Walmart. You can't mistake the blue handle and the gray shopping cart. Clearly, that's Walmart. So obviously, people have been in here, and now. I would assume the place is locked, right? I mean, let me see. Yeah, no, it's locked up tight. That ain't moving. Here goes the other street sign right over here that would have caught your attention pretty good. Hold on. Let me zoom in. Right there. Yep. All right, we're almost done here. There it goes. There goes the other label scar right there. Really cool stuff, man. Nice. And here's the office. Front desk. Box of tissues in there. There's a freaking stack of cups. The vending machine, I wonder if it still works. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's off to me. Mm. All right. Well, there goes the back of the place, but there's nothing over there. So obviously, unless maybe. Hang on. Let me see. No, it's just a fence. Yeah, ain't nothing over there. All right. Well, that does it for this abandoned Goodyear. Uh oh, we're starting to lose sunlight. So let me hurry up here. All right, well, there goes the abandoned Goodyear. We came, we saw, and we conquered. There it is, in all its glory. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna do the walk around, and I'll see you guys inside the car for the outro. All right? All right, cool. See you soon. Alright, what's going on, yo? So what do you guys think about that, huh? What'd you think? Huh? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So yeah, man, it was pretty cool to check this out. It's my first time doing it a man of good year. It's pretty cool, man. Like I said before in the intro of the video, it's pretty cool how a lot of places that Wally Bernowski is doing in his videos is now randomly those places are starting to replicate out here on Long Island. 
And that's really cool, man. Like, I never thought that I would ever see the day that I would start doing places similar to what Wally does in his videos. And now they're starting to replicate out here on Long Island. That's really cool, man. It's really amazing. So I'm not going to make this a long outro because now the sun is really starting to go down on me. So I'm going to get out of here real quick. I'm going to try to go find that bank. It's either I got to make a left or a right. And if I go the wrong direction and I go too far out, now nah, I'm going to be in the weeds. But we're going to try it anyway. I'm pretty sure it's after the good year, but we're going to go and check. Nonetheless, we're going to go and look and see what happens. All right. So let me end the video here. Like Wally always says in his videos, you guys stay awesome. And like I always say, keep smiling, stay happy, and just enjoy your life. All right. Cool. See you guys at the next destination. Take care.